Hi, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for all the love and support, enabling us to make yet another exploration into everyday psychology. So let's begin. Can you instantly tell when you're in love? That moment of realization for some happens in an instant and you've suddenly realized you're in love. But often love is simmering on the back burner of our minds without us even realizing it. Each lovely interaction, genuine phrase or sweet conversation is another seed planted in our little love gardens. And then before you know it, you have a whole gazebo of love that is. Now, you may know if you love someone, but how can you tell if your partner loves you? Well, they could just tell you. Yeah, that would certainly help matters. But in case you both haven't yet spoken those three sacred words, or perhaps you're too scared to, here is a list of things someone just can't help but do if they really love you. Number one, they'd rather call you than text. Would you rather text or call? In today's busy world, a simple yet thoughtful text can go a long way when the work is piled high and you simply just don't have the time. But more often when someone loves you, they can't wait to hear your voice again. A quick text or two won't do. The truth is, your partner is likely really starting to fall for you if they favor calling you than the easy text message. Or what's always better is talking in person. Number two, they stop by to talk in person. If you love someone, wouldn't you wanna spend time with that person any chance you get? If your partner surprises you by stopping out to eat with you during their lunch break every now and then, or knocks at your door for a surprise visit, they may just love you so much that they can't wait to see you again. To all the curious Psych2Goers out there, have you ever wondered what it would be like to live in space or which planet would be habitable? We'd like to thank today's sponsor, Magellan TV, for their commitment and support for this channel. If you're someone who loves learning new things and is always curious about the unknown, then you're going to love Magellan TV. Magellan is an ad-free documentary streaming service created by the filmmakers themselves. Their 3,000 plus collections are richer and broader than anything else you'll find. And they add new content every week. You can dive deep into subjects like history, culture, true crime, science, and technology. And a huge number of these are available in 4K. You can watch it anytime on any of your devices. Are you a curious person? If so, we strongly recommend watching a great documentary on Magellan TV, Mars, Making the New Earth, or if you're interested in seeing potential tragedies known to mankind, we like disasters in space for behind the scenes stories of NASA's catastrophes and near misses, many unknown to the public. If any of you are interested in space, nature, science, true crime, or tech, you should definitely check out Magellan TV. They have a special offer for Psych2Go viewers right now, a free one month trial. It's risk-free and you'll be fascinated with their collection. Once you start, you'll probably be like us, binge watching to the next episode. We highly recommend Magellan TV, so be sure to check the link in the description below. Number three, they give you their full attention in a conversation. People multitask, it's a thing, a pretty stressful thing at times, but quite relaxing if you have the right music. But if your partner is constantly scanning their social media feed when talking to you or only having time to talk with you during their last match of Halo, they may not be ready to say those three vital words yet. When we love someone, we're attentive when we need to talk about serious topics, even not so serious topics. You enjoy focusing on the one you love and being their focus too. You value their opinion and the things they have to say. But first and foremost, you listen and pay attention to your partner, not the scoreboard. Number four, they wanna create special moments with you, AKA road trip. Don't you just love going on special little trips with your loved ones? Or perhaps spending the day at a unique place that means something to the two of you. When we love someone, we scavenge and hoard beautiful memories whenever possible. You'll often find yourself on weekend road trips to pack on the memories or spend the day picnicking at a beautiful spot that means something to the both of you. Whatever your thing is, if you love someone, you wanna create special memories with them, not just the same old, same old. While the usual routine can be fine at times, who doesn't wanna take the person they love somewhere special? But hey, 
Odds are, those three magical words will be said for the first time simply hanging out on the couch or at your home. And if you love the person, you'll even turn the regular into special. Number five, they're there for you when you need them. Does your partner reach out to you? Do they genuinely care and ask how you are? Can they sense when something isn't right? Or do they often ignore it? It all comes down to this. Are they there for you? Really there for you? This one should be obvious. And if you're someone special isn't there for you when you need them most, then boy, do we have a problem. If you love someone, you wanna help them through their darkest times because you care about what they're going through. While some simply can't read the signs that you aren't okay, they should at least be there to listen to you or care enough to ask every now and then. And if you reach out to them, they should make sure to be there and listen, not just through text, but they'll call you or surprise you with a visit. Remember points one and two. And number six, they say, I love you. Hmm, you don't say. <laughs> yeah, of course, saying I love you would be an obvious sign. But here's the thing, sometimes love can fade in people's relationships. If your partner no longer tells you they love you, there may be a chance their heart has moved on. Sometimes it may have never been there in the first place. Sometimes someone says I love you too soon, misjudging their feelings. When we love someone, we tend to enjoy telling them. They like to remind you every now and then, like, hey, I love you. It makes you and them feel happy and well, loved. If you know you love them and they often do the things mentioned, it's best to stop and ask yourself, what's holding you back? Because if you love someone, why wouldn't you tell them? We hope we were able to give you insight into some of the ways you can tell if someone truly loves you. Do any of these signs describe your special someone? If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there plucking petals over the questions of whether they love me or love me not. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. And thanks for watching.